Good morning guys, it's Scott Weddle here again. So today I want to talk about um, just a little, something that happened yesterday. Um, like yesterday I was feeling really good, I was on absolute fire. I don't know, there was just something on point, something that just connected and it was good, it was brilliant. And I feel good today, but yesterday was just a, one of the days where you're poof, on fire. But the, the more and more you work on yourself and the more and more you move forward in your life, the more and more you actually become aware of things trying to bring you back down to where you think you should be. So, it came into my awareness yesterday that because I was feeling so good and I had an amazing feeling inside, then throughout the day I sort of, it, it came into my awareness that something was inside was trying to bring me back to where we thought was normal, bring me back to my normal thermostat level, if you want to call it. And, like, it's, it, before I would have just let that let that happen, but now that I'm just like I'm self aware, I just take a step back and I look at it and I recognise it. So the best the best way I look at it and the best way I the knowledge I can use for you guys is the way I look at it is if the sort of thoughts are like mountains. I just see myself dr driving along or floating along on a plane and just observing them below and not getting involved with them. So if you get involved with them and you give them power, then that's where the where you go wrong because you're giving them power whereas you can choose to take a step back and say well why is this happening why am I trying to sabotage myself here why because there's a reason behind it and when you get to the bottom of that reason then you can release it energetically and then when you release it energetically amazing things happen so it's funny how it was a week today that I went into for my personal development session and we we started talking about letting go of the past. So it's amazing how that ripple effect, and it's just amazing how it happens. We dropped in the pebble last week. When you drop a pebble in the water, what happens? It ripples. It ripples out. So it ripples, ripples, ripples. So it doesn't, that ripple effect doesn't happen like that. So it's amazing how this has came out now, just a week later, and it's came into my awareness. And now I've actually, yet last night I got rid of it. And, like, it turned out that, um, there were still feelings of unworthiness inside, like, and it, it really, really came out of my awareness when I went and met someone for a coffee, and I started getting nervous, and I started, like, doubting myself and stuff like that, and I was like, what the hell's going on here, like, why, why, but, like, who cares, you don't need to know why, you just need to get to the bottom of it, and I did actually get to the bottom of it, and I've actually got my notes here, I'm working on it, and it, it said, like, that I didn't, that I didn't think I was worthy, and I didn't feel unworthy, um, and I feel like a bad person because and it all boiled down to the way I used to treat people when I was younger. That's it. And it, uh, something else came in my way and it's yesterday as well, which is linked to this, which is quite scary because it all comes out at once. And it sort of came into my awareness, like I was sitting, I can't remember what I was doing, but I was just sitting and like that feeling of unworthiness came on and I was like, what is that? And then I don't know, I just sat nice and quiet and I asked myself and it came up that... Um, because of the future I want to have and the, 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 the sort of wealth I want to build and the, the business I want to build, the feelings of unworthiness were tied back into the way I used to treat people. Like, so, uncon like, unconsciously, I'm like, what the hell? Like, how, how does this work? But unconsciously, this is what's going on. So until you get to the bottom of it, you're consciously not going to have a clue what's going on. But it turns out, like, it came out saying... Um, I'm just reading my notes. Uh, it's linked to feeling, it's linked to the feeling of unworthiness for um, making the money you want to make and creating the business you want to create. Um, because, like unconsciously, you feel you don't deserve. It. I feel I don't deserve it because the way I used to treat people. So why would people want me to help them? Can you see how that's linked to the other um, feelings of unworthiness when I went and met someone for a coffee and I felt. Unworthy. I was like, "What the hell's going on here?" Like, what? It's it's about crazy, crazy, crazy. But um, until you actually become aware and you become honest with yourself, you're never going to move past things like that. Like, when something comes into my awareness, I just work on it there and then. I don't ignore it. I don't put it away. I don't let it make me feel like shit. I just notice it, and I'm like, right. 
something to work on, it's a good thing, and now I've let go of that, like I've energetically let go of it, I've done a meditation and I energetically let go of it, energetically, alright, so as soon as I let go of it, I felt, I just felt a release, and I felt better, and only time will tell if that's completely gone, but I have complete confidence it will be because I've done exactly what I needed to be done and the ripple effect will take course again and if there's anything else close to that subject then the ripple effect will take care of that and it'll come up into my awareness and I'll get rid of that. So you just need to keep doing this, it's like, it's an ongoing thing. If you really want to be the best version of you and you want to step up to the plate and create a life that you never thought possible because you'll never do that if you don't let go of your past and you don't work on yourself, you'll never go to your full potential. You might go and step out of your comfort zone and do something, but at the end of the day, you're going to sabotage yourself, like majorly, majorly sabotage yourself if you do not do work on yourself. So no matter what it is, whatever your dream is or whatever you want to do in life or if you want to become healthier, happier, welfare, whatever it is, like, if you're not working on yourself, like, I can't express how important it is to work on yourself and let go of anything that's not serving you, whether it's your past, whether it's people in your life, whatever, your environment is huge, 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 and once you let go of these energetically, you're going to bring a new energy from within and then that new energy will attract better energy to it and then you'll, your life will be, your life will just seriously feel better for one and that is the most important thing in the world is to feel good and feel better and if you start doing that then you'll start taking more positive actions, your habits will be better and you'll just move forward in life towards where you want to go and not have all this this fear inside and stuff holding you back because that's what holds you back is what you've been conditioned to know like when you first came into the world you were just a little baby like you were just unconsciously unaware of anything you were just a big ball of joy with no fear, no worry, no stress, no nothing but over the years you've just picked up layers and layers and layers of shit that's all that it's nothing bad nobody's judging anyone don't be scared to, to speak about your things don't be scared at all like let's like I, I, I went and met someone for a coffee yesterday and it, it, because it's a, the, a, someone of the opposite sex and there's a, a bit of a connection there it's, it's a bit of a scary thing for me and I'll put my hands up and say that it's a bit of a scary thing because I've not been in that territory for a while Right, so until you just man up and talk about your problems and talk about your 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 fears and talk about what you're scared about, talk about things, you're never going to get anywhere if you're just going to hide in your little bubble and say, I'm too big to talk about that. It doesn't work like that. Just just drop the ego and be you. Alright? Because when you're when you're you, like you will attract the right people into your life. And the right people will come to you. But if you try and be someone that's fake and shows up fake, then you're going to attract other fake people into your life and it's just never going to work for you. Like, and that, that's just me talking from experience. Alright? So, don't let, don't let that upper limit problem or your past or whatever bring you back down there. It's okay to feel good, like, like I, could, I had a choice yesterday to let that affect me and feel like shit. Because that could have happened easily. Easily, easily, easily. But I didn't, I chose to be aware of it, I chose to just acknowledge it and like take a little note of it and then when I came home at night I was like do you know what I'm just going to sit down and do this now because it's raw, it's real and it's right there whereas if I just said that I'll get that tomorrow I might have forgot about it so when stuff comes up do something about it there and then like if you need to talk to someone reach out you know that I'm happy to help alright so I hope this has helped you just step up to the plate and start being more of a man or more of a woman and just talking about your problems and Getting them out there and don't let them affect your day. Like, they're just a little kink in your hose. See, like a hose, it's just a little kink. You need to just bring it out. That's it. Simple as that. Alright? So, remember, no matter where you are in life right now, you can get to where you want to be with the right mindset. It all starts here, and then the correct aligned action. So it starts here, and then your actions will become aligned, 
and you will move forward at a quicker, faster pace than you could have ever imagine. And remember, at the end of October, I'm looking to work with a group of small people to help them remove all these unconscious blocks and help them move forward in their life. Whether that's in your health, your happiness, whatever it is for you, it doesn't matter because it all it's all the same thing. We all need to let go of the past so we can move forward into our future. We all need to let go of these blocks holding us back inside to then move forward. And if that interests you, really, really go deep and go to that dark place and find out all the, the shit going on inside and release it and move forward in life, then just sh shoot me a message, reach out, and we can talk about it, alright, so have a brilliant day, make it count, and you know what, if something comes into your awareness today, challenge yourself to not let it affect you, like, I mean, challenge yourself to feel good, focus on feeling good today, because you can feel good, and it's your birthright to feel good, and you deserve to feel good, and like I said, something comes into the awareness, just imagine you're a plane driving along the, mount atop along the top of the mountains, and you're just observing it, you're observing it, that's simple as that, alright, you're just like, whoa, what's that? When you sort that, boom. Okay, so have a good day, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.